Clardy, uh, 4-0 win today, but let's just focus on you for the first part. Hat-trick, how are you feeling? No, obviously it's a great feeling um, as a striker. Uh, ultimately, that's, that's, that's your job. So um, for me to be able to do the job for, for the team, is, 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 it's a great feeling. Um, but also I've got, to, I've got to say that without the team and without um, us being a team, that, that, that wouldn't have happened. So I'm proud of the boys and it was a great performance today. So... Yeah, yeah, great performance all round. Hat tricks don't come every day. Is that your first career hat trick? Is my first question, and and I suppose my second one is let's talk us through the goal. So your first one, you've kind of sidestep the the defender. What are you thinking in that moment? Um, obviously, yeah. So uh, Zach's running with the ball, so I know something's going to happen, and I've seen that the defenders have been sucked in towards the right hand side where Zach's coming from, and I can see he's looking at my movement. So I just thought, let me just go forwards and then pull back a little bit to create myself space. So then I spun my man and just slotted it. Second goal, a bit similar, but it was a difficult angle. So again, you're just thinking, I just just hit the target, try and get it past the keeper. Yeah, no, obviously, of course, um, them kind of angles as a striker, you just look to hit a cross goal, hit it low, and give the keeper as little um, opportunity to save as possible. And um, hope it, luckily, it went in. So yeah, happy about that. And then penalty, obviously, is that does that make it even more nervous? I know you know. It's all about the team, but for yourself, you know, your first career hat tricks on the line. You've got the ball on the spot. Did you feel any nerves? You didn't look like it. Not at the time, no, no. Um, when I first won it, it was a bit of a, oh, I need to score this. But um, as soon as I put the ball down and um, took a deep breath, I knew, I knew what, what was going to happen. And what happened was I scored. So, yeah, no, I'm happy about it. And I said, I said this to, to Ross in, in the previous interview, you know, we've got a really strong squad. You've come in today, uh, you know, Josh Parker's injured, you've come in today, Latrell for Fleety, all over the park, you know, um, Jack Davies in, in for Burley when he went on international duty. You know, you've had to be patient, you've had to wait for your chance, but in your two games, your last two games against Dulwich and today against Tunbridge, that's four goals in two games and a hat-trick, you're taking your chance and, and, and are, you enjoying, are you enjoying your football? Yeah, no, definitely, of course, um, as a footballer, you want to play as many minutes as possible. But um, if you're not playing, you've got to persevere, you've got to stick at it, you've got to work hard and wait for your opportunity. And when it does come, you've got to grab it by, with both hands and um, excel on the pitch. And that's, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. But first and foremost, the team comes first. We've got a great, great group of boys. Um, there's no toxicness around the group. Everyone's, everyone's to do well. And the ultimate goal is to get promoted. So every single goal that I can maybe score or assist, um, we can sort of chip away and obviously um, get the result, and which is a playoff win. But... Let's not look that much ahead. Obviously, the next game is Esfleet, so the first, most important thing is three points in the next uh, next week. So yeah, you talk about the group there. Really impressive performance, uh, you know, uh, throughout the part. What was it like to play in? You know, you know, it it, it looked easy. It's definitely not like that on the pitch, uh, but we did really well out there today, didn't we? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, our game plan is always the same. Um, start the game strong, put the team on the, the the opposition team on the back foot, and that's that's what we've done. If I, I can name every single name. I, I'll be here forever if I if I if I speak about everyone. But um, yeah, no, it was a great performance. Uh, we pressed well, we kept the ball well. Maybe we took the foot off the gas in the last 15 minutes of the first half. But other than that, I mean, the team was superb. So yeah, um, very happy. We're into the last month of the season now. The games are slowly ticking down. We're just taking things one game at a time, aren't we? No, oh, yeah, definitely. Of course, you've got to look at the next game, which is absolutely. And then after that, whoever it's, I don't even know who we're playing after that. But yeah, no, the ultimate goal is um, going to absolutely and getting a result. And that, that's it. Talking about that, absolutely. Runaway leaders, they're going to win the league. Difficult game. But do you relish that as a footballer? You know, you, you want to play in the, the bigger stadiums, the bigger crowds, and, you know, the better teams. You know, are you relishing that that challenge? Yeah, no. First and foremost, well, congrats to them because obviously um, it looks like they've they've won the league. Um, but as I say, look on our day, um, I think we can turn any any team over in, in this league, and I do believe that. So as long as we bring the the same energy into Epsley, press well, play as a team, togetherness, everything, um, I'm I'm positive the result's going to come our way. So yeah. Well, Claudie, thank you for your time and congratulations on your first ever hat trick. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.